JBN will keep you informed. Mother vows to never forgive man who killed her daughter. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. I felt like I was giving birth all over again. It was painful. My belly burned me. I am a mess and I will forever be without my daughter. Her favorite color was purple. She loved life, ladybugs and butterflies. She was our little princess, said Carol Bennett. Bennett is the mother of 11-year-old Abigail Smith, who was raped and murdered by neighbor Andreas Erezo in Kingsburg, New Jersey on July 12, 2017. Erezo, 20, admitted he sexually assaulted and stabbed Abigail. Her body was found wrapped in sheets on the roof of the Hancock Arms apartment complex. Erezo, who was 18 at the time of the murder, was sentenced to 75 years in prison last month and will be in his 80s before being eligible for parole. During a telephone interview, the St. Mary Bourne Bennett broke down while explaining that although he was given the full length of the law, he doesn't lessen the anguish of losing her only daughter. He showed no remorse or sympathy, and this just tells me how wicked he really is. I have never come across someone as cruel and demonic as him. My family and I will never ever forgive him for the wickedness to my innocent baby girl, she said. She said that Teresa lived with his mother in the apartment above theirs, but said they hardly ever exchanged words. The week before he killed my baby, he saw me on the street and said hello. And although I found it strange that he exchanged words with me, I still answered him. Pity I didn't know he was planning to kill her in a few days, she said. On the night of July 12, Bennett said she was feeling ill and asked Abigail to prepare a container of noodles for her. I later told her to go into her bigger brother's room to wake him up for work and that was the last time I saw her alive. When my son was going to work, I told him to tell Abby to come back to me and he told me that she wasn't in his room. I instantly jumped out the bed because I knew something was wrong for my social house and she wasn't there, she said. Bennett took a deep sigh as she explained how she unsuspectingly may have heard her daughter dying. When I was landing my bed, I heard really loud noises upstairs coming from his apartment, and I remember sitting up in the bed and was thinking that he was fighting his mother again. I make to get up to go tell him that he was too noisy, and I didn't feel well, but I didn't. Pity I didn't know that time. It was raping, it was raping and killing Abby, she said. Bennett said that she will live with this guilt for the rest of her life. I keep telling myself that this is what sometimes happens when we say we are going to mind our own business. He is always up there fighting with his mother, and I thought it was just one of those occasions, she said. Upon realizing that her daughter was missing, Bennett said she immediately called at the police as she knocked on her neighbor's doors trying to find her. I honestly didn't knock on Andrea's door because he was playing his music so loudly. My son then went and knocked on his door and he didn't answer. Instead, he turned off the lights and from there I knew he was hiding something. The police went there and knocked and it took long to answer the door. But when they went inside, they didn't see Abby, she said. Abigail's body was found by the police the following morning. And Bennett said the image of her daughter will never leave her mind. It beat her up too, you know. When I look at my poor baby face, it was swollen. The boy raped off my nice little pit and stab her in her neck. The knife got through one part and come out through the opposite side. My baby was on her period and he raped her and butchered her, she said between tears. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.